juice. I should have drank the slurp juice. <sighs> I got one kill though. Five minutes. I grew up, uh, a lot of people think I'm from Ann Arbor. I'm not from Ann Arbor, I'm from Jackson. Uh, that's just where I've always lived. I went to school here all my life. Just, I don't know, it's like, I don't really know. It's a lot different from Ann Arbor for sure. Uh, I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a lot more violence here than Ann Arbor. But it's not, it's not like that bad, that bad. But it's a lot, man. No, nothing really happens in Jackson though. Like. There's a lot of really good athletes that came up through Jackson that didn't go nowhere just because they was from Jackson. So that's part of the reason why I uh, went to school in Ann Arbor instead. It's just a lot of, there's a lot you can get into here that you can't get into other places and that distracts people and stops them from like getting where they want to go. But that's pretty much it. This is my home though, so that's where all the, there's a lot of like rich people that live over on this part by me now. Like that house, that house big as hell. This a lake. Uh, I don't know, I've never been on either of these. When we go to the lake out here, we'd be like by like Clark Lake, Pleasant Lake, that's where everybody go. Be on the boat. Maybe mostly the white kids, they all, their parents, like the kids that go to like Lumen Christie, they all got money like that. So we'd be on that stuff. Some of them that go to J High too. But I don't really talk to nobody from Jackson anymore. I really just be in Ann Arbor. Uh, Ann Arbor, it's a lot. I don't know. I wouldn't say softer than like Jackson, but it's just, it's different. It's like more sensitive. Like you gotta watch where you say, what you say, who you talk to, stuff like that. But um, no violence. I've never heard of any violence in Ann Arbor. Uh, they just got a lot of different. The problems in Jackson and the problems in Ann Arbor are very different. Like I don't know. It's just, it's different. You can't really say nothing other else than that. It's just. The way people act, the way people operate, what people do, it's all like different, I don't know. Like in Arbor, we just be cool and like, we'll play 2K, play Fortnite, and go eat with some girls or something. But like Jackson, people always like smoking, drinking, and in Arbor, we don't be doing none of that. So I don't know, it all it all depends on where you stay, I guess. I work at Foot Locker. Everybody always asks me how you get all them shoes, how you get why your dad buy you all them shoes. Bro, I work at Foot Locker. I get good discounts and I make money because I, I work on commissions. So the more you sell, the more you make. So I've been there trying to get it. And then that's how I buy all my shoes and stuff like that. And then I sell other shoes, make some money back that way as well. JC, getting good run in. Some of the players here, Jackson College, uh, Marshawn, opened up the gym a couple times a week. Everybody get in here. Reggie, Reggie like 30, graduated Jackson High, get here. It's, it's a lot of people, high school kids, college kids. It's just good run. So, try to get in here as much as we can. Games to five, all ones. So, it's real competitive. You can get put off any time just like we did. So, it gets you better though. Get you in shape too. We got the nice spot right here.
Hey, dog, what y'all doing? Hurry up. Oh, yeah, hit that. Good boy, boy. I might go with the Braves tomorrow. I don't know. I might take them out tonight, though. I don't know yet. I did it last year. We got did by Georgia Stars. I took him out. And then we beat him next time. So I don't know, I'm superstitious like that. That was deep. Marshawn though, man, over here. The coach, he can't hoop, bro. He heard it here first. He ain't got no type of go. He washed up. Promise you. Hey, Marshawn, why you not hooping? Yeah, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Hey! Are we on? We finna shut all that down. The senior citizens keep putting us off the court. West side. He got a bridge. Let me see that. Wawa. I'm the Wawa right here. Shit. Them. They said they wasn't gonna be here till Monday. Mm -hmm. Yo. Mm. Wow. I don't know how to open this. Let's go. Speech Indie Heat. Newest member. Had to get the red sleeves. Too nice. Oh. I'm gonna be nice off the red jerseys. Bring them this weekend. I thought I was gonna have them too next week. That's a plus. No, I just be in the crib. I don't really go nowhere. I'm either at the gym or uh, here doing homework, playing Fortnite. That's it, really. That's all I be on. Them the uh, all the letters. Keep them up. I keep putting them up every time they come. I don't know. It's just something I do. Them are the shoe boxes. I be uh on the shoe collecting uh tip, as you can see. Oh, I got the shoe room now. I go there for sure. So them some in there. It's just the just the lab right here. That's the rest of them. Got the exercise equipment. Pops be on that. Yeah. Number right though. These the rails right here. Ooh wee. It's the best shoe has ever been made ever. Anyone's ever seen. So, yeah. Gotta get them all. I don't know. The ones in here I don't really be wearing like that. I like the threes, the true blues right though. That one was them nice. Um. I mess with them tens that just came out. These ones, I don't know. I like them for some reason. They ain't never like came out with nothing like that for real with the white bottom and all that. But I don't know. Legend Blues too. I remember I played against uh, Skyline in my uh, freshman year. I think I had like 23 on a broke foot. I was on the paper everything. 
That was probably my best game. That was my favorite game I ever played in. We was at Skyline too. That was tough. But, uh, my dad trying to get this all situated so we can, uh, he can watch the TV while he be working out. And we got basketballs up here. The backpack's supposed to be up here, but they be falling. Now working. And, uh, all the belts, the hats, the bow ties. You know, we got shorts. We I don't wear none of this stuff out the crib. This stuff like I'll get home, throw it on until I go to sleep. All the hoodies, all that type of stuff. Uh oh yeah. Reggie that was at the uh, thing, this is his clothing line, the bouncy one. Reggie's Urban Jungle, go cop. Uh that's the new gear they just gave us. Like, it's tough. These are here. And the one I had on earlier. And the moss sweatpants. Ooh, hold on. Almost fell. It's all the shirts. That's, I just come in here and get ready in the morning. And uh, grab some shoes. That's all I really do though. Besides play Fortnite, that's all I do all day. What's your plan of attack? Like, I don't you have can't... to have a plan. Like, shoot. I shoot better than you. Granted, I'm slow. I'm slower. My 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 athleticism is gone now. I'm old. I'm fat. You I shoot better than who? You. You talking to you talking to Eric? I'm a much better shooter than you. I'm talking you know. to you. He not, I know you're not talking to me. I'm the best shooter you know. I know myself. Exactly. So I'm the best shooter you know. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You are a funny dude. You can't shoot. Okay. You shoot free throws for okay. threes. You don't get off the ground. You have no lift. Okay. As long as they go in. They I don't. I really don't think anything else matters. They don't go in though. Okay. And I'll block it. You so release it. You can say anything you like at this point. Okay. You boy might be with the camera. You can say whatever you want to say. It's all good. I could literally but tell at you. At some point, you have to get on the court and back that up. I could. I'm really tired of hearing your mouth. All right, bet. I, and I, I will tell you every get single on the court. time. I'll tell you, you what I'm gonna do. We don't have to keep talking. Do it. Get on the court. You can't stop me. Just get on the court. Like, I'm like, hey, the court. you don't have to talk. I'm about, about to do a right to left with a hesitation, and okay. I'm gonna lay it up, and then I'm gonna go do that too. I you. actually no problem with you doing right. it. I am, I am glad that as a dad, I have been able to instill you with this type of confidence. All right. That's where you and Vince about to be at. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, never. Actually, I did stay over there in one of the hotels like not too long ago, like a couple years ago. This one right here in Rotorway. It was last yeah. year. Was it last year or the year before? It was last year. There and then Tim K. Yeah. Uh, but no, absolutely not. Like I said, I'm, I'm glad that as a father I've been able to instill you with a certain amount of confidence. But now you're just crazy. How about, yeah, I'm about to do the step back and hit this three. And you're just going to have to watch me do it. And I'm going to score. I'll watch you do it. You're going to have, have to get the it out the net and get I back don't, to me. I don't have any problems with watching you do it. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm saying. You don't have a choice, though, either. You, say so. you have to watch it. The challenge is, how are you going to make any? I'm going to make it I mean, you talk a lot to your peers and people of that nature. But, one, your trash talking doesn't bother me at all. And let's face it, you have a fragile psyche. No, so, you dish it out, but you don't take it well. Cause, so, when I get to talking bad to you on the court, how? What you doing? You, you can't do, do, do. score. Then you're, then but, you're angry. Like, okay, you're going to talk, but you're going to be down like 5 0 within okay. the first two minutes of the game. Gotcha. Got it. I hear you. It's like, yeah, you can talk. I hear like, you. It's okay. It's I, I understand it. It's going court. Uh, to carry bottles to the 
the store Thinking to myself like I can't do this no more I did four months in a hole Thinking to myself like I cannot wait to go home Stay strong, right or wrong, I'm gon' grind They like keep it up We just wanna get money, they just wanna beef with us It's guaranteed you gon' die one day But I will speed it up Police get behind that Chance Sports, come shop with us. What's up? What's up? I think I had the opportunity to go to Chick fil A. He went to Philly, Charlie. About the number one, it's a classic. No. Chick fil A song. Ain't nothing like it. Weekend. Last weekend, I was just trying to like feel everybody out like that, and then uh, no, I'm just getting ready for Atlanta next week. We got UIBL, so if we uh, win all our games next week, we should probably be at Peach Jam for sure. Um, and then we got the fourth session to win even more, get seated higher. So, no, I think we uh, played really well, even though some guys had left like for prom and stuff like that. And Keon rested one game. No, nah, I think we uh. Everybody stepped up, played well. Sean Cobb played well, especially. Jalen played good, so nah, we uh, we seem to be coming together as a team a lot more. I played, I played a lot better than last weekend. Last weekend I was playing. I played. I, I looked like a bum last weekend. This weekend I came to hoop though. Ask Mac Irvin. They know. <laughs> I broke out the Supreme sleeve against All Ohio, and then turned around and played Bummy. But it's whatever. We beat them in the UIBL. That's what matter. We flow as a team more. Like everybody moving around. Everybody know where everybody's about to be. So that's nice. To uh, you know, my teammates trust me. I trust my teammates. So it's easier to get stuff done that way. We don't really play a whole lot of isolation ball unless like it's me or Keon. But I mean, me and Keon both still we know when to take a shot and we know when to make the right pass. So. That always helps. And then uh, 
we got Trace, JM, they always down there rebounding, getting put back, stuff like that. So we got we got all the tools, I think, to win Peace Jam this year. Um, it's just going on the court, listening to coaches, executing. Um, but no, nah, we looking, we look real nice, and we gonna have uh, Isaiah back by then, so he gonna be probably running the two for us, and then uh, then we gonna be real scary for real. That Irving game, no, I was, I was chilling, you know, I'm shooting shots when I get the ball, I'm, you know, really distributing to my teammates and stuff. But then uh, they just start, talk they coach and Keon got into it, they was talking, and then uh, you know, Marquise always like to talk, so like. That just, I don't know, it took me from here to here when somebody just get to talking, that's just, cause that's what I like to do. To have uh, someone like with, with this new team uh, talk, like I haven't heard it at all with the family. We used to always talk crazy to the team, but as soon as Keon started talking to the coach, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm talking too then. So then that just, I don't know, that just upped my play. And then uh, I had that stretch at the end. I had like, I don't know, like nine in a row or something like that when the game. That just, that was just a byproduct of that. That's, that's how I get. Now I got five offers, uh, Central Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Toledo, Holy Cross, and Northern Illinois. Um, all the schools are doing a real good job of recruiting me. Um, I say at the moment, probably Toledo, Holy Cross, Eastern, they're doing the best job of recruiting me. They stay on me. They text, constantly text call me, ask me to come visit, stuff like that. Um, I'm supposed to visit Central sometime soon. Uh, I like the coach from Northern Illinois, he's real cool too, so. Nah, it's all about even, but. LeBron got a bucket last night. He's tough. That's the greatest player to ever play, is LeBron James. Period, point blank, don't want to hear it. LeBron's a bucket. Jordan's a bucket too, but LeBron, I don't know. I think if, if you took Jordan and you made him 6'8", like 250, then he'd be the best player ever. Two, he'd be better than LeBron. But and like I'm saying, if you made if you took LeBron and you made him six six two ten, he Jordan would be better than him. But if LeBron's is too big and too skilled, they don't they don't they don't come together like that. And then Kobe, um, I hate when Kobe fans try to come in. No, he's not in the goat talk. He's the greatest player ever named Kobe Bryant. He's probably the best Laker. I'd say he's better than Magic Johnson. Because he is nice. Yeah, no, nah, LeBron, LeBron tough. LeBron the best ever. Jordan second. Kobe third. After that, probably. I like Oscar Robertson. And who else? Magic Johnson. Shaq. I don't I don't really be counting nobody that played in like the nineteen anything pat below like nineteen sixty. Who's you playing against? You it's playing against a bunch of guys that look like you. It's like nah, but for real, like like Will Chamberlain in the NBA today would not score 100 points. He might not score 50. Nah, he'd probably get a 50. But he for sure would not go for 100. He couldn't do it. Period. And especially if he played in like the Jordan era, because they'd be fouled. They'd not. They'd foul him. He, he wouldn't even want to play. Bill Lambeer, he'll lay, he'll, he would have laid Will Chamberlain out. Good. Hey, who's the best player of all time? In what? Basketball. The best player of all time? Yeah. What kind of question is that? LeBron? Jordan. No. Yes. No. Who's second? Green and Vision Bar. I'm kidding. LeBron probably, I, I said LeBron was too. Kobe. No, LeBron is the best. Then Jordan. Yeah, I don't think so. <coughs> then Kobe. LeBron is the <coughs> evolution of MJ. That's all it is. He's a what? He's the evolution of basketball. 
the evolution of MJ, you said. Correct. So evolution means step. like better, like improved. That's what I heard. Yeah. That's all I heard. Evolution. I know that's a difficult concept for you to grasp, seeing as how much you know science type of a term, but yeah. evolution. Just as the theory is that you know we came from apes and then we evolved into human beings. Well, if you go back in time, you know. Before, so what would you say is better, a human being or an ape? Okay, that's yeah, well, totally better. out of the context. That's what I heard. That's totally out of the context in which I presented it. But that's what you do because you're 14 years old, or at least 17. Your mindset is that of a 14 year old. I'm almost a grown. Yeah, not I'm almost grown. 18. Yeah, not even. Nonetheless, a months. like I said before, before you decided to interrupt me with dribble. What is before that? MJ, there was who? I don't know. That's because you don't know basketball. No, no, no. Hey, do you agree with this statement, though? Anybody that played basketball before, like, the 19, like, 50s or 60s, they shouldn't count in the grades of all time debate. They should absolutely count. For what? One, they're part of the history. They was playing Sorry, the whole... say, Okay, so Martin Luther King was born when? So should he not be part of the greatest civil rights movement that, ever? That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the, like, it was, that, like, okay, Will Chamberlain. Played against, Chamberlain, they changed the rules of the game. Played, a, played against a whole bunch of people that look like Eric. They changed the rules of the game for Chamberlain. Bill he Lynn, was so incredibly dominant. Bill and they Vero had to make locked, new rules in basketball. Bill and Vero take him out the game and wouldn't make happen. him not want to play. Wouldn't happen. Yeah. Wouldn't happen. If, if Will Chamberlain was in his prime right now, he would be top two or three centers in the league. Easy. Easy. Rudy Gobert? Would Chamberlain would destroy him. Chamberlain would flat out destroy him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. No. Whatever. Like I said, it, it takes someone who's got a completely developed frontal lobe to understand what I'm saying. Wow. Right now. So come talk to me in like three years. When oh, you Bill Russell too. Bill Russell sucked. Bill Russell didn't suck. Bill Russell was one of the hardest working athletic basketball players of his time. <coughs> and he'd still be an athletic basketball player now. His skill set would have to increase for him to be as successful, but he would still be a viable NBA player right now. But he wouldn't be like one of the greatest, like how people talk about him though. If he played today. I, I, I think it's hard to say that he wouldn't be. I don't know. I mean Like I'm not saying he like all right, he he wouldn't suck. He'd be straight, but like I wouldn't say he'd be better than like Dwight Howard. Okay. I don't think he'd be. Again, it's about the evolution. He'd be like Clint Capella. It's like the evolution of athletes. Okay, that's why bre what records always get broken. Athletes get better. They train harder. They train differently. They train better. They eat differently. I mean, Bill Russell could go to McDonald's, eat six cheeseburgers, and then go play. You couldn't do that now. Guys have know. dietitians and nutritionists and workout trainers and gurus and all that other. That back then you went and you played basketball. That's how you got better at basketball. Now you got to have a you know control cli a climate controlled gym with a trainer to go and get better at basketball. I don't know Joel Embiid did eat that Burger King, the Big King, before the game. That's why you <laughs> suck in five on five. Nobody has any individualized games or, or skill sets because all you guys want to do is go and dribble around a whole bunch of <laughs> cones. No. How much do those cones help you in a five on five? I'm a bucket. I'll give Again, you a bucket. That is a typical 14-year-old response. 17. I don't even use cones. I'm just saying. That's what, but that's where the game is going. I treat my there. defenders like cones. That's how easy I get around them. Dude, please, like, God, you know, don't air any of this because he sounds like a complete <laughs> moron. Do not, do not air this. <laughs> What's wrong with you? I'm just playing. I don't know, man. Nonetheless. Like I said, I think LeBron is the next step in the evolution of basketball. He's bigger, faster, stronger than the guys that preceded him. So, yeah, if I say the greatest player of all time is Jordan, that was from my era. That was who I looked up to. That was who I idolized. I don't idolize LeBron. Right. I don't want to be LeBron, but my obviously my career is way over. You guys look at LeBron and Steph Curry and those guys and think that, that's, that those are the guys. But when I was coming up, the greatest shooter or the best shooter was Reggie Miller or Larry Bird or, you know, those guys. Nah, Reggie Miller still might be the best shooter. You know, but Ray Allen, those were the guys that when I was coming up, I wanted to emulate. You know, when I was in my backyard shooting at the milk carton or the milk crate and counting down, I kept saying I was Dr. J or, 
you know, y'all don't even know who those dudes are anymore. I say best shooters. So, well, you got to go with Steph, but then Reggie Miller next. Ray Allen. Drazen Petrovic. Clay Thompson. And see, there are so many guys that you don't even know of. I mean, Michael Red was one of the best shooters. Oh, yeah, Michael Red was a shooter. I mean, but there was a lot of guys that yeah, never got too. those types of accolades because they just played in systems. No, nah, yeah, in 2K8, Michael Red did have... And that's how you know Michael Red from 2K8. For the Bucks. That's how you know Michael Red from a video game. That's what I'm saying. Like, anyway, when, when you grow up and your brain fully develops, then we can have a conversation right. about basketball. <laughs> <coughs> That's all.